on this motion? Defense rests. All right. Any rebuttal testimony? No. All right, then that'll close the evidence with regard to the suppression motion. We courted uh, on this motion previously uh, set a briefing schedule. Is that to be right. followed with regard to this motion? Yes, yes sir. All right, well, then that'll be the, uh, the course of proceedings with regard to the suppression motion. Now, there are other motions pending, so how and what manner did you wish to proceed with regard to those? Your Honor, on the motion regarding um, veneer from another county, I think we could also address that through a briefing schedule if the court is open to that, along that's with the briefing schedule. Your Honor, my, my understanding, just so we're clear, is that that's what we're going to do on all the other motions, right. except perhaps the motion to hold separate trials. Since we've already ruled in the other case that we're going to have separate trials, I don't think we have much basis to say that we're not going to have a separate trial in this case. Right. I gathered that at the beginning of the hearing that this that the separate trial issue has been resolved right. with separate trials. Yes. yes. And I believe the court um, issued an order to that effect, too. Yes. yes thank you. So the state believes we should abide by the briefing schedule, and we're prepared to do so, Your Honor. Is that your thought, then, as well, on the other motions? It is, sir. Now, then, just so we're clear, then, the other motions I have would be either motion challenging the constitutionality of 938.183 and 971.15 sub 1, and then a further motion to uh, have a jury selected from, from outside Waukesha County. Correct, sir. All right, so that's the balance of motions. Searching my memory, but yes, I believe that is accurate, sir. All right. And then for those motions, we'll follow the briefing schedule that was previously set with the uh, hearing date as previously set. Uh, true? Yes. Yes. All right, very good. Then uh, with regard, that should complete our hearings then today. Just before we, uh, we recess this hearing, the, the normal course of conduct would be that, 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 that Ms. Wire would be, would be taken back to Washington County. Do you want her to remain here for any period of time? Your Honor, if we could have a period of time to, to discuss um, the testimony from today and what the court is deciding on in the briefing schedule, that would be helpful. She's made a number of notes of things she had questions about. So about how long would you like that to take place? Could we have about an hour, sir? Sure. Oh, that's fine. Well, then I'll direct that the... Uh, that when, when Ms. Wire leaves the courthouse, she'll be taken to the juvenile facility. And uh, it's 11, 1127 a.m. now that she remain there until 2. Thank you, sir. And then she'd be uh, transported back by 2 o'clock. Thank you. All right. With that, anything further from the state? No. Anything further from, from Ms. Wire's attorneys? No, sir. No. All right. Well, thank you. Good luck, everybody. Happy holidays. You too. You too, Your Honor. Just, just, uh, just attorneys and meeting with the attorneys. I'm sorry, sir. Just with the attorneys. Yes. Uh, if, if the court would allow her a few moments with her parents, we'd appreciate it. I'll prevent the. I'll prevent the.